All right, guys, today we're going to take uh, an adventure. We're going to start an adventure. We're going to actually do a quick little cut and engrave with the uh, K1 Pro laser. I have these daggers uh, filed that I found here online a couple of weeks ago, and I've been interested in doing it. Now, I'm going to do a test burn on some cardboard, but then later I'm going to actually do it on the wood because that's going to be the final product that I'm actually going to spend the time painting and everything. But I just want to see how it's going to come out. So let me show you guys what I have set up so far. So let's pop over here real quick to light burn so this is the file that we're going to actually be working with this is the dagger it's a three-piece dagger set that you guys see here now i'm going to uh like i said i'm just going to burn this with uh, on cardboard i've already have my power settings already set up for this so um on the um fill side of it which is the engraving on the uh, cardboard i'm going to change those settings here real quick so i think i want to do a engrave i want it to be dark so I'm going to go ahead and change that real quick here. So we're going to go 50-50, a speed of 50 and power of 50 as well. And then as far as the cut goes, uh, I'm going to leave this at 10% uh, um, at a, a, a speed of um, 10 millimeters per second. And we're going to do 90% power. I might even bring the power down a little bit. Let's bring that down to about 75% power. And uh, maybe we'll do uh, two passes on that so we get a nice little clean burn on it. And, yeah, everything looks good. So let's go ahead and frame this up and see exactly what it looks like um, under the material and everything. So let's pop right back over to where the laser is. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and frame this up, guys. All right, I'm just going to nudge the material over just a touch. And then we're going to go ahead and just go ahead and get this started just so I can get a you know a rough idea of what this is going to look like. All right, so uh, framing is good. The only thing we need to do at this point is to focus the laser. Now, this laser does have the autofocus feature, so I'm just going to go ahead and go to my, my console, and let me show you guys what that looks like if you haven't seen this before. So here in Lightburn, you know, you'll have your different tabs. You know, like in this case, we have our cut layer, we have move, and then we have our console here. I have a, a macro set up here for autofocus. I'm just going to click on autofocus, and then when I do, you guys will see what the laser will do at that point so let me switch back over so you guys can actually view it all right so i'm going to hit the autofocus button so the laser is going to go through its focusing All right, so the laser is ready to rock and roll, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, start this job. Let me find my laser glasses. Guys, don't forget, always wear your glasses. Protect your eyes. All right, guys, I'm not going to have you sit through this entire thing watching the laser go back and forth. So we'll come back after the laser has completed its job and we'll take a look at what we were able to capture and uh, cut and engrave on this cardboard. Okay, guys, everything cut out, all three pieces. So I'll show you guys what those look like. These are the three little dagger pieces that I was able to cut out with the cardboard. So it looks like everything is going to cut perfectly when it comes to doing this on wood. So that's going to be step number two. So I'm going to go ahead and run this on some three millimeter wood and we'll see what that looks like once it's done. I'll be back. All right, let's go ahead and frame this up and get our material set up. All right, I think that's about right. I'm gonna run the frame one more time. All 
All right, so I'm going to go ahead and autofocus. Which I should have done first, and then I'll move the material back to where it was. All right, so let's frame this up one more time so I'll make sure that everything is exactly where it needs to be. All right, looks like we're good. All right, I'll see you guys on the other side of it. All right, guys, I wanna give you a close look at exactly what cut out. Now, this is three millimeter wood, as I said before. This is our little dagger, so all three parts are here. And let's see if everything actually cut out properly. I can see that it looks like everything fell through. No problems. All right, so we have our backing board, which is this component here. We have other components of the dagger. As you guys can see here, this cut out really nicely. Everything just fell out. And same as with this piece right here. So I'm going to glue all these together and I'll show you guys what these look like uh, here in just a little bit. All right. All right guys, so here is our final product after uh, a little bit of paint and a little bit of time. So we have completed our dagger. You guys can see I painted the uh, base black. I left the wood tone, but the little um, stone inlay, I just made it red. So it has like a ruby type of look to it. So yeah, I was able to create this in just a few hours. Um, that's including drying time, you know, and things like that. But as far as the cut goes, this only took a few minutes to cut this out of three millimeter wood. So if you're looking for some craft ideas, some things that may be, you know, keepsakes that you may want to make for some family or friends, this could be good options. You could find these files all over the web, guys, you know, for free. And just download them. Some of them you may have to uh, make some alterations in order for them to fit your material. Some of them you'll also have to lock them because sometimes you'll find these files will be, they will have some issues that you'll have to go in and correct. But if you have issues with those, let me know. I'll try to walk you guys through light burn, how to correct those. But in future videos, I'll definitely be going a little bit more in depth in how I use Lightroom and things like that. All right, guys, it's been Rome with Rome Knows Tech. I just wanted to finish up this project and send it out and post this video for you guys. So you can see something that I created recently with the laser. So if you want to see more details on this laser and other lasers that I use here in the studio, make sure you follow me over on Amazon. I will be live at 7 p.m. Central Time most days, seven days a week. I try to anyway, at least for an hour. And then I show up and we can talk about tech. We can talk about lasers, cameras, lenses, lights, any of the things that I use in my real work as a professional photographer and my new hobby, uh, working with these hobby lasers. All right, guys, I'll see you all in the next video. Until then, peace. I'm out.